Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel for the Renaissance English History Podcast. Today, we're taking it back to one of the most tense periods at the Tudor court, when two strong women, Anne Boleyn and Catherine of Aragon, both resided within its walls. If you're new here, very special warm welcome to you. I am your host, Heather Tesco, and I have been podcasting on Tudor England since 2009. This is the place where I put all of my episodes from all of my various podcasts, as well as loads of extra content, like this video right here. So there was a period of almost five years when Anne Boleyn and Catherine of Aragon were at court together, with Anne still supposedly Catherine's lady-in-waiting, but most everyone knowing that she was actually being courted by Henry VIII. And Henry was fighting his suit for the annulment of his marriage through various legal and church channels. Imagine the suspense in the air, with Anne still officially one of Catherine's ladies-in-waiting, while her not-so-secret relationship with Henry is blossoming. This turbulent period lasted from around 1527 until Catherine's exile in 1531, and it was fraught with pretense and silent battles. While Henry openly courted Anne, he continued to maintain this facade of marital bliss with Catherine, saying that he hoped that their marriage would be found to be valid. If he had to marry all over again and he could, he would choose nobody else but Catherine. He dined with her. He danced with her. He exchanged presents and courtesies, all while trying to negotiate an annulment with a reluctant pope. According to some reports, during this time, Catherine was still involved in the intimate act of making Henry's shirts. When Anne discovered this, she saw it as a symbol of Catherine's status, leading to a very angry scene. Her point was that Catherine was still being treated as a wife. This was a very special, intimate task she had always done for Henry. Henry saw it as just the simple and easy thing. He liked how Catherine made his shirts. She had always made the shirts. Anne wasn't going to do it, so he kept sending the shirts to Catherine. No big deal, right? But for Anne, it was a big deal, and according to the Ambassador Chapuis, Anne threw a large and very public hissy fit. Apparently, a professional seamstress joined the court employ soon after. While dealing with the complexity of the situation, Anne continued to serve as one of Catherine's ladies-in-waiting. They would spend time together reading, sewing, and even playing cards. It was during one such game that Catherine made her only known comment to Anne about the upheaval happening behind the scenes when Anne drew a king from the deck. Catherine, true royalty that she was, reportedly said, My lady Anne, you have had good hap to stop at a king, but you are not like the others. You will have all or none. Well played, Catherine. Subtle, pointed, well done. This awkward situation persisted until 1531, when Henry, true to his style, departed to another palace without Catherine and later commanded her to depart for one of his country estates. Catherine, once his beloved wife, for almost 20 years, was not even granted the courtesy of a personal farewell. Thanks so much for watching. If you have made it to the end of this video and enjoyed it, I hope I earned your subscription to my channel where I put out videos like this almost every day. I mean, who doesn't want their YouTube algorithm tutorified, am I right? Thanks so much. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.